August 25, 2017, a day etched for the entire subcontinental region, the day Myanmar's army unleashed a wave of violence on Rohingyas in Rakhine state, forcing nearly a million to flee and seek shelter in neighboring Bangladesh. Those forced to become refugees overnight do realize that despite the daily hardships, they remain safe on Bangladeshi soil. Here's a special report. Three years after escaping genocidal violence, nearly one million Rohingya refugees continue to find shelter in Bangladesh. The country now hosts over 90% of refugees registered in the Asia-Pacific region, ensuring their protection and offering life-saving support. It is no easy task for a country with one of the highest population densities in the world and an economy which for the first time crossed the $2,000 per capita income mark only this year. Yet Bangladesh continues to shelter the Rohingyas despite inadequate international support and its own domestic challenges. The pictures of Malaysian officials refusing to take in Rohingya refugees being stranded for days at sea earlier this year makes Bangladesh's mammoth humanitarian effort even more commendable. Not just Malaysia, in fact most of the members of the OIC, the umbrella of all the Islamic nations in the world, has done little more than lip service for the Rohingyas. The OIC backed its member Gambia in filing a case against Myanmar at the ICJ. However, even its rich and powerful members like Turkey, Saudi Arabia, UAE, have offered little in terms of assistance to those refugees who are in need of shelter, food, health care and opportunities to rebuild their lives. Numbers tell the story of Bangladesh's incredible effort in tackling one of the worst humanitarian crises in decades. Most of the one million or so Rohingya in Bangladesh live in five camps that cover an area equivalent to one third of Manhattan. About half of the refugees are children and there are more women in the camps than men. The population density in these camps, mostly in Cox's Bazaar, is a staggering 40,000 per square kilometer, with the highest population density in some sections increasing to over 70,000 per kilometer. 460,000 Rohingya refugee children living in Cox's Bazaar district and studies indicate that nearly half of these children are unable to get adequate nutrition. Despite these challenges, Bangladesh has not given up on the Rohingya refugees. In January this year, Bangladesh allowed Rohingya children to formally study up to the age of 14 following the Myanmar curriculum. Those older than 14 will get skills training. Bangladesh has even decided to restore mobile networks and internet services in Rohingya refugee camps to ensure better services amid the coronavirus pandemic. Bangladesh has spent millions of dollars to provide better living conditions to Rohingya refugees. Decongest the overcrowded camps at Cox Bazaar. It has made over 100,000 dwellings in Bashan Char Island off the coast of Bangladesh. The houses have been built four feet above the ground in order to protect the refugees from high tidal waves. Environmentalists have raised their concerns over the ecology of the region. But given the conditions of camps in Cox Bazaar, Bangladesh's move is not without sound logic. Bangladesh continues to do its bit, but clearly the international community needs to do more, create sustained conditions and pressure for Myanmar to repatriate Rohingyas back to Rakhine state, a move even India endorses. Bangladesh needs help as it continues to help the hopeless. Bureau report, we on World is One.